Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can there be a bigger amen in the house of God? It's a beautiful thing to see you in the house of God. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Everyone turn to your neighbor and tell them Happy New Year. Thank you so much for being found in the house of God in a day like today. It's our first midweek service of the year. We are excited and elated to be in the house and the presence of God. It's a wonderful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Um, join us everywhere, wherever you are. Um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming in at this hour to be blessed together with us. We are Eagles Dominion House International. And we are here in the heart of Nairobi. We're right here in Sunbeam Shopping Complex. That is right opposite Equity Bank. And along Mfangano Street. Um... The Lord has spoken to us about the year 2024. Year 2024. That's how time flies. We are now in 2024. And it's our year of increase. It's our year of increase. In the book of Psalm 115, verse 14, um, the prophetic word there, it says, may, uh, may God make you increase more and more. May you increase more and more. You and your children, may you increase more and more. But today, please, if you, are, you missed um, our that first or crossover service, please look for that sermon where I taught about increase. I did an introduction on increase and I spoke very heavy and powerful words. And I don't want to dwell there. I want to introduce something new um, on the same um, chapter of increase. And I want to speak about the favor of increase. Favor of increase. Favor of increase. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, we say thank you for this moment and for this beginning. We pray that you be with us. We pray that you minister. Speak to us, O oh God. We love you. We cannot do without you, Holy Spirit. Speak to us today. Have your way in this place. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church said, Amen. Somebody say favor of increase. Say, shout again, favor of increase. Now, what God is releasing into your life is the favor of increase. It is the best thing to have in life. The favor of increase. Please remember to share them that are joining us live on YouTube, on Facebook, on our Facebook pages. Please um, remember to share, subscribe on the YouTube page. Um, ring that bell so that every time we are going live, you can be notified. It's a good thing to have you. Favor of increase. Now, those that God appoints for his work, he will always bring or take them from nothing to something. Those that God appoints for his work, those that God chooses for his work, he will always bring or take them from nothing to something. Are we together? It is the character of God to choose men and women and then pick them, take them from nothing, and make them something. Now, this journey, when God is picking you from nothing, and making you something, you need the favor of increase. It is the favor of increase that causes increase into your life. Did you hear that? It is the favor of increase that becomes a catalyst. That becomes a catalyst in your life. The life of increase. It needs that favor. So that God will bring the increase that is needed. Now. So everyone that God chooses. Everyone that God appoints. In all the things they do. In all that they have. God brings them from nothing. To something. And God will always increase them. In everything they do. Now this is. A character of one that God has chosen. God will always come and increase them. In everything they do. There will be increase. In everything they do. There will be increase. There is something that God gives them. He gives them the grace. And the favor. In this area of increase. Them that God has chosen. Them that God appoints. He gives the 
them his grace and his favor in that area of increase. And this is your portion. You that is in the house today and everyone watching me live wherever you are, I declare the grace and the favor of God in the area of increase. This is what causes increase. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grace and favor is your portion. I say grace and favor is your portion. I said grace and favor is your portion. Grace and favor is your portion. Grace and favor. For there to be increased, God will release his grace and his favor upon you. So what you need, if you are saying amen, you say amen that is healthy. If you are saying amen, you say amen that is louder. What you need for increase is grace and favor. Grace and favor. And that is what you are receiving in the beginning of the year. Grace and favor for increase is your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. This is what breaks stagnation. When this favor comes upon you, this is what breaks stagnation. Stagnation cannot stand on a man that God has poured his grace and his favor for increase. It can never. That demon of stagnation, that demon of backwardness can never operate in a man and in a woman that God has poured his favor and his grace upon. There will always be increase. Where there is grace and favor, there will always be increase. Where there is grace and favor, there will always be increase. I repeat again, where there is grace and favor, ah, there will always be increase. The people that God chooses, the men that God appoints, not everyone, the men that God appoints, the people that God choose for an assignment, they carry extraordinary favor and grace from God. Extraordinary favor and grace from God. Extraordinary favor and grace from God. Extraordinary favor. This is what you are carrying today. Extraordinary favor and grace. Extraordinary. Remember it is extraordinary favor. Not just ordinary favor. If there is extraordinary, it means there is ordinary. And what you are going to carry from today is extraordinary. Say, I receive. Shout, I receive. Shout, I receive. My goodness. Shout, I receive. Extraordinary favor and grace today in my life. In the beginning of 2024. Say, in the beginning of 2024 I receive extraordinary favor and grace from God for increase shout again in the beginning of 2024 I receive extraordinary favor and grace from God say it again I receive extraordinary grace and favor from God make a joyful noise to the Lord make a joyful noise to the Lord now everyone and I said it again I repeat again everyone that God chooses please note these words everyone that God chooses everyone that God appoints he brings them from nothing takes them from nothing to something from nothing to something from nothing. No, it doesn't matter where you are. As long as God appoints you. As long as God chooses you. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. It doesn't matter your background. Gideon says. I am the least. Huh? My, my clan is the least. I come. I am the least in my family. My clan is the least. But you know what? It doesn't matter where you are. When God chooses you, when God appoints you, he takes you from nothing to something. Now when Abraham decided to follow God in Genesis chapter 12, 
when Abraham decided to follow God and abandon everything that he had to abandon his family, his friends, his land of nativity. You know, Abraham left his people. Abraham left everything. And you know very well, until Abraham died, he never went back there. Actually, when he needed a wife for his son, he sent his servant to go to where he comes from and bring a beautiful damsel for Isaac. So when Abraham left, Abraham never went back. Abraham never saw his uncles again. It's not easy. Abraham never saw his shushu again. Abraham never saw his mother again if she was alive. Abraham never saw the cousins again. Abraham never saw anybody again. Oh my goodness. It's not an easy thing. The calling of God is not an easy thing. So, so when, God, when Abraham decided to follow God and abandon everything. Now, not that word. He decided. Because when God gives you a call, it is you to decide. You always have an, op an option to obey or disobey God. Abraham chose to obey God. When he decided to follow God and abandon everything that he had, God made sure that he increased him in everything he had. He increased him. Now, this is a God. Oh, let me take you to Genesis 13. Genesis chapter 13 verse 1. Genesis 13 verse 1. Bible says, verse 1 and 2. Then Abraham went up from Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, and lot with him to the south. Look at that. Verse 2. Abraham was very rich in livestock, in silver and in gold. Did you see that? Did you see that? Abraham was very rich. Not rich. Very rich. Abraham experienced the favor of increase. When he obeyed God, when he chose to abandon everything as God asked him, he received the favor of increase. He increased in everything. Now, look at this. God has not yet performed his promise in his life. But there's increase. Before the promise comes to pass, there is increase. You didn't hear what I said. Abraham has not yet received a son as God promised to him in Genesis chapter 12. But already he is experiencing increase in his life. May you experience increase. May you experience increase. I release the favor of increase in your life. Let there be increase everywhere. All over your life. Everywhere in your children. In the name of Jesus. I declare favor of increase upon this altar. Upon this work. Upon my sons and my daughters. Wherever you are watching me from. I declare the favor of increase upon you. He has not yet received a baby. Isaac is not yet come. And he's not even around the corner. But there's increase. Oh my goodness. There's favor of increase. The moment you allow God to use you. The moment you say yes to God. Favor of increase. Come on. Abraham was very rich in livestock. In silver. And in gold. He increased in everything. He increased. Oh my goodness. There is a time. When. Lot was captured. And Abraham was told about it. And Bible says that Abraham took. Some of his servants. Around 400 and something. From his house to go and rescue. His nephew Lot. Are you here? Abraham has become like a nation. Even before God fulfills his promise. Hi. You are not with me. In chapter 14 of Genesis. 
Hallelujah. Ha. Verse 8. And the king of Sodom, and the king of Gomorrah, and the king of Adma, the king of Zoehim, and the king of Bela, that is Zoah, went out and joined together in battle in the valley of Sidim. Against Chedola, Chedolama, king of Elam, Chedal, king of nations, Amphraphel, king of Shira, and Ario, king of Elasa. Four kings against five. Watch that. Four kings against five. Now, I want you to see increase. Now, the valley of Sidim was full of Esfat feats. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Verse 13. Jump to verse 13. Then one who had escaped from, uh, escaped and told Abraham, the Hebrew, for he dwelt by the Terebith, trees of Mamre, the Amorite, brother of Eskol, and brother of Anna, and they were allies with Abraham. Now when Abraham heard that his brother was taken captive, he harmed his 318 trained servants. They were not 400, sorry. They were 318 trained servants who were born in his own house. You are joking. This man has increased until he has 318 servants born in his house and trained for battle. Somebody say increase. Oh, you are not with me. Say increase. Servants are born in his house and they are trained for battle. 318 he took them for battle. Are you seeing that? My goodness. He divided his forces against them by night. And he and his servants attacked them and pursued them as far as Oba, which is north of Damascus. So he brought back all the goods and also brought back his brother Lut and his goods as well as the women and the people. The guy has gone to fight against five kings. You are not with me. I'm speaking about increase. Where Abraham has so much increased that one man ordained of God, chosen of God, goes to battle against kings and wins the war and brings back the captives. Are you here? Somebody say increase. You are going to increase. You are going to increase. Whether they like it or not, we are increasing more and more in the name of Jesus. It's your time for increase. Somebody say increase. Whoa. Whoa. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name, Jesus. Four kings against five. Four kings against five kings. And Abraham is alone. He represents the nation of Israel. And he wins the battle. And he brings back captives. And he rescues Lut, his, his cousin or his brother. And you know what? That God gave him victory. That's why he met Melchizedek. After the war. After winning the battle. Melchizedek meets him. The king of Salem. The king of peace. With what? With wine and bread. A priest of God forever. Who never dies. Who had no beginning, no end. <laughs> Somebody say increase. You are going to increase. There is going to be increase in your life. There is going to be increase in your life. There is going to be increase in your life. Even before Isaac comes, this man has increased. I tell you, when Isaac comes, Isaac comes to manage wealth. When the child of promise comes, he's coming just to manage wealth. Isaac never fought battles. Isaac, if it's water he needed, he just needed to redig the wells that his father Abraham had dug. Because the man had increased. Abraham walked with favor. And you are going to walk with favor. Abraham walked with God's favor. I declare in the beginning of the year, in this month of January, all the
the way to December 2024. You are walking with favor. You are walking with favor. You are walking with favor. Favor, favor. Somebody shout favor. Shout favor. Shout favor. Shout favor. You are walking with favor. Abraham walked with favor. You are going to walk with favor. Abraham walked with favor. You are going to walk with favor. You are going to walk with favor. 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 Extraordinary favor was upon this man. One man that God has chosen is defeating kings, meaning nations. Hi. Hi. One man. One man that God has chosen and favored is going to battle against kings who have their own armies. And he wins the battle. Somebody say increase. Somebody say increase. I desire this kind of favor. Let this favor come upon you. May you be a partaker of this favor. I declare this favor upon you. If I be a man of God, let this favor come upon you in the name of Jesus. Somebody say favor. Every Abraham went, it was God's favor working for him to get increase of things. Everywhere he went, everywhere he went, the favor, the favor of God was upon him. God's favor was upon him. God's favor was upon him. <laughs> God's favor was working for him to get increase of things. Kings would give him wealth. Kings would be a blessing to him. Abimelech, the king, when he had taken Sarah, when God told him, take the wife of this man is a prophet. Back to him. The man gave an offering. A sacrifice. Abraham is increasing. Abraham is increasing. Of things. There is increase of things. I pray for increase of things. This is the time. This is the time for increase. This is the time for increase. Of silver. Of gold. Of animals. Of cattle. Of lambs. I declare increase. I declare clear increase in the real estate ah in the marketplace i prophesy increase in the name of jesus as we begin to hear walk in the favor of god that empowers you to walk in increase abraham ah, when this favor of increase comes upon you it breaks the spirit of poverty it breaks poverty it breaks poverty you will no longer be poor I say you will no longer be poor let the spirit of poverty be broken in your life in the name of Jesus you will never be poor again favor of increase favor of increase in the work of your hands in what you are doing favor of increase I say favor of increase it doesn't matter what is happening right now I came with a prophetic word from God the, the word is favor of increase favor of increase this is your portion favor of increase favor of increase you are going to increase let that be increase in your life May you experience increase. Now, favor speaks in every child that God has chosen. You didn't hear that. Favor speaks in every child that God has chosen. Has God chosen you? If God has chosen you, if you confirm that God has chosen you, then from tonight, favor begins to speak in your life. I said God's favor begins to speak on your behalf. Favor speaks. Favor has a voice. Favor has a voice. Favor. Somebody say favor. 
Favor speaks in every child that God has chosen. From today, favor will begin to speak in your life. Favor will begin to speak in your business. In the work of your hands, favor will begin to speak. I don't care where you are. I came to tell you that favor will speak. Favor will speak. Favor will speak for you. God's favor will speak for you. I said God's favor will speak for you. God's favor will speak for you. God's favor will speak for you. The favor of God will speak for you. The favor of God will speak for you. Do you know what it speaks? It speaks increase. The favor of God speaks increase. When favor comes, it begins to say increase. Let this man increase. Let this man increase. Favor of increase. Now, I want to remind you again, before I finish, that Isaac is not yet born. The promise has not yet come. Abraham is still waiting on God. But he's increasing. In cattle, in silver, in gold, the man is increasing. The man is increasing. Kings are afraid of him. Nations are afraid of him. Kings recognize him. Kings honor him. Why? Because of God's favor upon him. This is your portion. Now this is your portion. I said this, I, I wish I had somebody who would say, Father, I received this word. It's not a common word. It's not a word I've had for a long time. Or maybe you had it yesterday. But today God has brought it to you in a new version, in a new way. This favor of increase is going to work for you. Favor of increase. Favor of increase. Favor of increase. You are going to increase. Nobody will bring you down. Nobody will bring you down. No man can bring you down. No devil can bring you down. When favor of increase is upon you, you can never experience losses. No backwardness. No reverse. No going back. Come on. No going back. No losses in business. Why? Because favor of increase is upon you. When that favor of increase is upon you, you just increase. You increase. In case you forgot, some... 115. Psalm 115. In case you forgot. In case you forgot our prophetic word. For the year 2024. 115. Thank you Lord. Who is believing. Together with me. Who is agreeing with me. Who is agreeing with the word of God. Who is agreeing with the word of God. Favor of increase. May you be blessed by the Lord. No, verse 14. May the Lord give you increase more and more. Do you see that? It doesn't say going backwards. It, it doesn't say stagnate in one place. Mm -mm. It doesn't talk about staying in one place, in one position. Mm -mm. It talks about, may the Lord give you increase. Psalm 115, verse 14. May the Lord give you increase more and more. Now, not only to you, you and your children. You and your children. Now, that can only happen when the favor of increase is upon you. Let's be standing in the presence of God. Let's be standing. Thank you, Father, for your word. Begin to think about that word. Favor of increase. Favor of increase. Favor of increase. Please be standing and lift up your hands high above your head and tell the Lord, may favor begin to speak in my life. May favor speak in my life. May favor speak in my life. Come on. May favor speak in my life. I pray for your favor. Let your favor speak in my life. Let your favor, one minute, let God's favor speak in your life. Make that prayer. Make that prayer. Father, may your favor speak in my life. 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 Come on, make that prayer. May your favor, oh God. May your favor, Jesus. May your favor, Daddy, speak in my life. Speak in your life. May God's favor, may this extraordinary favor, favor of increase, may this favor speak in your life. Speak
speak in your business speak in your children speak in your finances may this favor speak may this favor speak may this favor speak may this favor favor come on shout it and declare it that this favor wherever you are join me in prayer in declaration that the favor of increase is your portion 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 i speak in the marketplace in the marketplace favor of increase <laughs> ah you that is in the marketplace favor of increase favor favor of increase 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 I speak favor of increase in your life wow now listen to me I have a word and I fail to declare this I felt to speak this because the Lord spoke over and over and the Lord told me that it is time for his judgment hmm. of false prophets pay attention it's time for God's judgment on false prophets in the land it's time for them to end why God is saying my children are getting lost in their hands in the hands of the false prophets the children of God are innocent they don't know who is right and who is wrong they are just innocent but these false prophets are lying to God's children and they are not aware God is not happy with what they are doing God's children are not aware that they are being deceived by the false prophets and God is not happy with what they've been doing God says my children are innocent they are not aware and it's time for the judgment of the false prophets in the land and God told me, son, I am raising two prophets in the land. I am raising two prophets in this land. So two things, judgment and doom for the first prophets in the land. And number two, God to raise two prophets. They are already there, but God to raise them into visibility. In this land, it is time. Somebody say it is time. It's time for God's children to know the right way, the right teachings, and what God is truly saying, and what God is not saying. God is raising prophets with clean spirit and pure hearts in them. They will be all over. There will not be a few. I said there will not be a few. They will be all over. They will be all over. You know. The Lord told me the false prophets know what is happening. They know it's their time for doom. It's time for their judgment. But they are hiding. Some of them are giving this prophecy of God dealing with false prophets in the land. But them themselves, they know themselves. They know truly that they are false prophets. They are trying to hide. They don't want to be known. Mm. They don't want to be known. But you know what? God told me, son, I am not sparing anyone. This 2024, God is not sparing anyone. God is not sparing any false prophet in the land. God is not sparing. Watch me clearly. God is not sparing any false prophet in the land. It is time. It's the season where the true prophets will be known exposure of what the false prophets have been doing has come they will be exposed i said they will be exposed says the lord the 
the false prophet will be exposed and no one can hide and no one will miss the judgment of God no more hiding they can't hide anymore no more hiding I speak on this altar no more hiding now God is strengthening the true prophets the ones that he has chosen and ordained it's not going to be easy but God is strengthening them that God has called for his work even strength to pray and to prophesy hmm. may all the true prophets that God has called be strengthened in the land may all the true prophets that God has called in this land be strengthened be strengthened in the name of Jesus and that is is the word of the Lord if you are not born again I want to give you a chance to give your life to Jesus it's time to surrender to Jesus it's time to give your life to Jesus if you backslid I'm giving you a moment now to decide to follow Jesus to make him your Lord and Savior wherever you are in all the nations of the world in all the nations of the world say after me if you're ready and prepared say father I believe that you raised your son Jesus from the dead I confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord Come into my life. Oh Jesus. Be my Lord and my Savior. I surrender my life to you. In Jesus name. Amen. If you pray that prayer. You are born again. You are saved. Your name now is in the book of life. No backwardness. No going back is our year of increase it is your year of increase too you are going to experience increase in your life you are going to experience the increase of God in your life you are not going to backslide I bless you and I cover you with the precious blood of Jesus and I declare may God preserve you for his eternity now don't stay at home if you gave your life to Jesus and if you are at home watching me and you belong to no community, no fellowship of brethren. Please belong somewhere. This is the divine order of God. That you belong to a brother, I mean to, to a community of brethren. Belong to a community of brethren. Belong to a church around you. If you happen to be in Nairobi and his environs, you can join this fellowship. We are Eagles Dominion House International. Here in the heart of Nairobi. In Sunbeam Shopping Complex, 5th floor, that is opposite Equity Bank, and we are along Mfangano Street. There's a number down on your screen. This is the place where there's increase. You can call that number for prayers, for prophetic declarations, for you know, for miracles, whatever, whatever you trust in God for. Call that number for directions who will lead you to this place. Please join us in this place. This is the place to be, the place of increase. God bless you. God favor you. My name is Titi Higos. I love you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.